Uncrash just got another update and this changes a few things. One of the main things is that we can now add more customizable drones and they have an advanced mode where we can set up our drones much closer to what they are in real life. And they have some options for how the pit responds and also if there's a prop watch. This is a very easy and simple way to set it up and I do quite like it to be honest. It's not too overly complicated and everyone can get a pretty decent quad flying relatively fast and it does respond quite similar to real life. I flew six batteries with my real life drone and then headed into the simulator just to see how far off it was. And I gotta say it was pretty close. It's not perfect, but it is close enough to where I think we can actually use this as a daily simulator and there's nothing that really makes it a bad simulator in it by any means. Another thing is that they updated the physics as well and that also helping making the drones much more similar to real life and I mean it's on par with trip now in my opinion and maybe just slight behind Velocity Drone but what I do like about Uncrash is that it has the graphics with it just like trip it has amazing graphics and now that Uncrash is a lot more optimized and it runs smoother on more PCs. I think Uncrash is the better choice for now because it has multiplayer, it has a track editor. So until Trip updates those, I would maybe lean towards Uncrash for the moment. Unless you already have Trip, then it's just fine. You don't need to switch just because this has an update. And if you are already in Velocidrone, just stay there if you are happy enough with how Velocidrone works. It's not the graphics that makes Velocidrone great, it is more the actual physics that is very close to real life and all the racing maps that is also implemented in it. If you are looking for a simulator, maybe you want to try a new one, maybe you're just getting started, I would highly suggest that you go in and try Uncrash because that last update fixes many of the things that I have had problems with in Uncrash in general before. And now we are getting a simulator that runs great, has multiplayer, a track editor that works very well, a good graphics, not that it matters that much, but a little bit, and it's not overly expensive. I'll put the price up here. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this new setup. And anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.